Hi guys. Uh, Inside Out is the Pixar's first film that made me feel like it's slowly getting out of the weird rut it's been the last couple of years. I want to say since Up and Toy Story 3. Um, oh, look at that. I'm not the only one that thinks the same thing. Taking in consideration that Monsters, Inc. was directed by Pete Doctor, that Miyazaki nerd and traitor. He then came back and did Inside Out. I didn't know that beforehand, so I don't think I'm being subjective. It's about a girl named Riley. She was born in Minnesota. She has five emotions running the show in her head. Joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. My personal favorite is Joy, who so happens to be the leader. I think it's because she reminds me of Pearl. And Pearl's great. <laughs> but anyways, they reside in Riley's mind. The emotions are responsible for forming her memories. They take the form of spheres and change color depending on the emotion of the memory. The most important memories are known as core memories. And those core memories power the five islands. Each island is a different aspect of Riley's personality. The ones from what I remember, let me see, uh, I want to say Family Island, Friendship Island, Hockey Island, Honesty Island, and... Oh, Goofball Island, yeah. Alright, um, oh, here's an uh, interesting little thing I just looked up. While doing some research, I found out that Bing Bomb was kept a secret from the trailers. Every time a preview of the Inside Out movie came on, I changed the channel or just buried my face in whatever was nearby. And, it, and then I found this out. In a recent interview with Pete Doctor, uh, this is what he said. It was a really smart move on our part. If I can pat ourselves on the back, he says laughing. We wanted to make sure he was a surprise to the audience because as a filmmaker, I hate when you go see those trailers and they give everything away. And you're like, okay, well, I guess I don't have to watch the movie. Uh, that's what he said. I feel the same way. Uh, they do this too often nowadays. But also, you don't want to lose the interest of your viewer and not have anyone come to your movie. You want to hook them into watching the film. I think finding a perfect balance is an art yet to be perfected. Also, uh, I don't know why if anyone got this too, but Bing Bong reminds me of uh, Coos from Dexter's Lab. Going to the animation part of the movie, I love the short before the feature. It's called Lava. It starts a lonely volcano looking for companionship. The one scene I loved during that whole short was the time lapse uh, shot of the top of the mountains where the clouds were just rushing over the peak of the volcanoes. It was uh, unbelievable and just breathtaking. The one thing that uh, I, I really liked about the detail and the animation is uh, each, uh, each of the characters, when you look closely, uh, they're like made out of dust. Like, I, they're like little sparkles. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. Sparkle, sparkle. I'm not gonna make this a long thing. Just a small thoughts on the movie. The story was enjoyable, but not crazy good. It's essentially about a girl growing up and the importance of sadness. Not the most compelling plot, but hey, I bought a ticket. I'm not expecting an action-packed blockbuster with Pixar, but I know they are doing better, and I have higher hopes for the next slew of films. Final thoughts? If you like Pixar and you're interested in, uh, in new ideas, or not new, I mean, we all know Inside Out isn't a new concept. Uh, but um, they bring these interesting ideas and implement them into their uh, into their animation, their their movies, and uh, I think that's what makes Pixar so unique. I my my recommendation is go watch it. Why not? I give it a eight point five out of ten. Thanks for finding me worth your time, and uh, until next time, uh, see you see you around, man.